Well, hello my friends and welcome to the new video. I hope you're doing good. Here I am, still in Dalmatia and oh man, it's been a busy two months. It's the high season, your peak of the season now. Yeah, just a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities, busyness. It completely destroyed my schedule, you know. That's why I'm not posting as often. I'm not recording these videos as often, but here I am, thankfully. And I got a little video for you. You know, I was thinking about how people... You could be the most dedicated person in the world. You could have your purpose, your vision. But not only that, you could be genuinely connected to God. You can feel genuine connection. You can feel that you're doing the right path, that you're getting signs. That everything is set in stone for you, you know, the stars are aligning. And yet, and so many people are like this. So many people are doing good. But you know what happens? They still die. Tragic events happen and they die or they get injured or something. And even though they had this perfect idea, this perfect plan of what they want to do and what they will achieve, it all went away. But how could this be? Even though we genuinely, like I'm not talking about thinking, like you could literally be praying to God, you could be knowing that you're doing the right things, which is some misfortune still can happen. Is God evil because of this? Is something wrong? No. Unfortunately, that's just how life goes. It's not how we wish it, but it's how it is. One of the problems is that people assume that other people who are dying are not real even, you know? Like there are some NPCs and that this could never happen to you, you know? That you are for some reason untouchable. But other people that are literally like neighbors dying, ah, but that's not uh, real. This is maybe some, for some of you, might, this might be like, of course not, but for a lot of people, believe it or not, in the back of their mind, when I say these things, it still doesn't click. It still doesn't be like, yeah, but not for me, you know, I will be good. We are all made of flesh, bones, blood. <laughs> we are all so mortal. We are all so fragile in this world and everything can happen well what's the point then you know what's the point even if you have a purpose even if you feel like the most dedicated person in the world what's the point then well i was thinking about this and i came, I came to the conclusion that you know what life is what the secret to life is what is the secret okay purpose this god this that what is the purpose here? Just keep trying. Trying is everything we can do, is everything we can have, is everything we can do. Trying because the destination is not promised. The goal cannot be achieved, maybe. Maybe it will. Maybe everything will be perfect. But we do not know this. And it's the key. And it's a good key because if maybe some tragic thing doesn't happen, but we still fail, what then? It's like we died, but mentally or spiritually. So that's why trying and doing while you're here is the number one thing you can do in this world. We might be gone in a few hours tomorrow in 50 years. Let's not get attached to that. We could achieve our dreams in, in tomorrow in 50 years, whatever, let's not get attached to it. It's the same thing as that. What is important is what we do now, is what we do at this very moment. As long as we keep trying, we are alive. As long as we are alive, we'll keep trying. That is all there is to life, honestly. Because it can get so black peeling, it can get so depressing and unsettling when you think about these things, but we are blessed of the for the, this moment, you know, for the power of now, as they say, we are blessed. And no matter, I'm not telling you to give up on your goals. <laughs> it's actually just the opposite. I want you to pursue your goals, but do it every day at a time. Be content with trying your best every day. Be content in being in the process. 
because this process is the biggest thing we have and it's the biggest blessing we have. Take pride and take satisfaction in doing the right things. Doing right things towards yourself, towards God, towards the world. This is all there is to life. The goal is not the main objective. If we reach the goal, beautiful. But what, what, what do we need to do to reach the goal? We need to go and work and try and try and try. Because when the moment hits, when it's time to go, we, we have no regrets because we still tried. We still did the things that we were supposed to do. Maybe not completely, but we tried. Even if we know that our path is by the God, or that it's really the right or purpose for us, there's no point in dwelling if you're going to fail or some, something like that. You just need to keep trying and going. That is the meaning of life, my friends. Just keep trying, keep going, keep waking up every day and be blessed. Be grateful that you're here. That's life. Just keep trying. Much love and I'll see you in the next one.